Like most CAD programs, AutoCAD uses a Cartesian coordinate system to identify the location of points in two and three dimensional space. And in order to draw accurately, you need to understand how to work within this coordinate system. Let's take a few minutes to describe AutoCAD's coordinate system. If you simply move your cursor on the screen, AutoCAD will display in the status bar at the bottom left of the screen the exact X, Y, and Z location of the current location of the cursor. As I move my cursor, you can see that these coordinates automatically update. They update because the cursor is moving to new locations within the Cartesian coordinate system. If I start the point command, notice that now when I move the cursor, I not only see the coordinates update in the status bar, I can also see the X and Y coordinates change adjacent to the cursor because dynamic input is currently toggled on. And with the grid display toggled on, I can see the X and Y axes indicated by the red and green lines respectively. The point at which those two lines intersect is the 0, 0 location, which is also known as the origin of the coordinate system. If I move the cursor to the right of the y-axis, the green line, and above the x-axis, the red line, notice that the x and y coordinate values are both positive values. When I move the cursor to the left of the y-axis, but above the x-axis, notice that the x value is now negative, but the y value is still positive. If I move the cursor below the x-axis, now both the x and y values are negative. And if I move the cursor to the right of the y-axis, but keep it below the x-axis, notice that now the x value is positive, but I still see negative values for y, because my cursor is below the origin of y. So as you can see, locating points in space is always based on x and y coordinate values when working in a 2D view. And when working in 3D, points are located based on x, y, and z coordinate values in a system known as a Cartesian coordinate system. Once you understand this concept, you can create geometry anywhere in space. There is no limit to the drawing. And when you model in AutoCAD, you create objects at full scale, actual size.